A milestone for Queen Elizabeth, as she becomes the first British monarch to reach the Sapphire Jubilee, marking 65 years on the throne. She's the head of state of the United Kingdom and 15 other Commonwealth entities. She became queen at just 25 years old, when her father, King George VI, passed away in 1952. God save the queen. Queen Elizabeth, symbol of hope for the dawn of a new Elizabethan era, and Prince Charles, who will one day wear his mother's crown. In 1947, she married Philip Mountbatten and went on to have four children, Charles, Anne, Andrew and Edward. She has eight grandchildren and five great-grandchildren. During her reign, she's witnessed all of her children get married, including the ill-fated pairing between Prince Charles and then Lady Diana Spencer in 1981. The wedding was held at St. Paul's Cathedral before an estimated global TV audience of 750 million. The Queen later saw the very public breakups between Princess Anne and Mark Phillips, Prince Andrew and Sarah, Duchess of York, and Prince Charles and Princess Diana. 1992, the year Fergie and Andrew split, was also the year that Windsor Castle went up in flames. It's the year the Queen dubbed her Annis Horribilis. Then in 1997, an event happened which shook the world and the royal family. Princess Diana was killed in a car accident in Paris. During much public speculation about what took place that night and the Queen's perceived failure to respond in public to the death, the royal family's popularity waned. But an address to the nation in which the Queen spoke of her admiration for Diana managed to quell public hostility. She was an exceptional and gifted human being. In good times and bad, she never lost her capacity to smile and laugh, nor to inspire others with her warmth and kindness. The monarchy has received a boost in popularity thanks to the wedding of the Queen's grandson and second in line to the throne, Prince William to Catherine Middleton. The couple have two children, George, who is third in line to the throne, and Charlotte. William and Kate are expected to move to London later this year to take on more royal duties, as the 90-year-old queen has recently cut down on travel and public appearances. Though now, a big year lies ahead for Britain's longest reigning monarch. Members of the House of Commons, my government will legislate in the interests of everyone in our country. The UK plans to formally trigger Brexit in March, and US President Donald Trump is scheduled to visit later this year. A petition to prevent Mr. Trump from making an official state visit because it would, quote, cause embarrassment to Her Majesty the Queen has already gained more than 1.8 million signatures.